Hello, it's Jordan from H2X here. Um, what I'm going to do in this video is show you how quickly you can do a heat pump system design uh, using our software. It's a lovely sunny day where I am, so I'm making the most of it by playing on H2X outside rather than inside for a change. So uh, with this one, it's a 1930s detached property. Um, we are doing uh, this property is having a full rip out back to the brick uh, so it's having a brand new heating system and a full refurb uh, we're going to go with underfloor downstairs and radiators upstairs uh, this heat loss survey has been done on site using magic plan uh, it's been imported into hox and you've in instantly got the heat loss results um, and you can get exactly the same uh, input from our partners at warmer as well so you can get an on-site survey done from warmer and you can also get this uh, Heat loss uh, room by room in H2X. That is all going to be based on the settings. So just to run through the key ones, we're going to minus 2.6 outside. Uh, we've got pre-2000 for our air changes. On our materials, we're going cavity wall insulated, PVC double glaze, 300 mil loft insulation. And that is giving us at the moment a total heat loss 5.3 kilowatts. So I will press the timer and uh, yeah, we'll see how this design goes. So let's go. Um, starting off, I am going to add some unheated areas for our underfloor heating. This will affect the um, underfloor outputs, and the pipe spacings and so on. So we just want to mark where the cabinets are going. Um, I'll just add another one here as well. Cool. And then I'm going to go up to the first floor. So the heat pump's actually going on um, a flat roof up here. So we'll go across into the design view. And if you've used H2X, uh, you'll know like most of the equipment is sort of generic. Uh, we know what, what we're going with on this one, but um, to save you time, uh, or to save myself time, what I do is if I have filled in all the details on a piece of equipment, I will paste it to like a central library and then I can just go back into that library uh, and pull that equipment out. And that's going to have all of the information that I need for like my energy usage uh, and any manufacturer specific details that I need, like um, for pump sizing, flow rates and so on. All right. I'm going to add a couple of risers over here so I can go in between levels. I'm also going to paste in a 150 litre hot water cylinder that is going up in the loft. So I'll just paste that. It's coming down here for some reason. I'll just bring that up to here. And away we go. Cool. Um, going to go down. Going to use our multi pipes come across like so and then for the underfloor that is going underneath the stairs so I'm going to drop around here trim that pipe work up go down and get our manifold like so you can edit uh, the properties of the manifold so it's a bit of a big boy at the moment I'm going to make it a lot smaller so yeah, we can just squeeze that in nicely here, like so. And then with the manifold, uh, you can edit the technical properties too. Um, and I'm just going to connect some room. So I'll connect the entire ground floor. And then I'm just going to deselect the hall and closet like so. So then we've got our three rooms heated with underfloor. We uh, can also tidy up these risers. Um, while I'm here. All right. And then we'll go back up to the first floor. And yeah, I can start adding rads. So I'm just going to go with uh, Stell rad, uh, K2's 600 high. So I'll pop those into this room here. My next one is going to go here. 
here. Let's come straight off with that. I've got another one for the bedroom. Let's go in here. And uh, and yeah, just one in the hall, which we'll put here. And then we can trim that up. Um, so looking at that, uh, all I need here is a divert valve. I can just edit these. And looking at that, I can think I can pause the timer because the design is done. And yeah, at this point, I can press results and get quite a lot of information. So we'll hit results to calculate this. Uh, we can start off uh, looking at the heat pump. So you've got 28 mil coming off the heat pump. You go up to the loft. 28 all the way to the cylinder, then you've got uh, two sets of 22 uh, coming up after that. Um, some of the key results uh, that you'll be interested in are at the heat pump, you have your index circuit length, that is 35 meters. On the pipe work, you can show that index run, so it will actually highlight what that's based on. So I think we can see that it's, it's coming up, it's going across to the underfloor circuit. Um, and it's going yeah, back down the risers uh, to the manifold there. So that is the index we can see. Um, then from that, uh, it will calculate the pump duty. That's 0.242 litres per second at 40 kPa. It will give us a warning if it falls outside what the pump that comes with the unit can do uh, as well, which is quite handy. And then you know whether to upsize the pipes. Um, or not. You can also see the total system volume. Uh, that's instantly calculated too. Uh, again, so that's 115 litres uh, for this project. Um, and looking at the RADs, we can see we've got um, yeah, pretty much 22s uh, up to the last uh, two RADs, and then it just drops to 15, and we've got 15 uh, to each RAD as well. So yeah, four and a half minutes to get system volume, pump duty, index circuit, pipe sizes. Uh, you can then export a full drawing set, room by room heat loss, and um, and a bill of quants as well. Hello. Um, stay there. Um, so uh, just looking at uh, what they look like. So this is the room by room heat loss. Uh, yeah, you can just see. All the calcs, U values, uh, room by room, um, all the different materials, demand, energy demand, heat emit summary, um, estimated running costs, and finally the MCS noise assessment, given a yes or a no down here. Uh, we've also got the uh, system performance estimate. Again, that's just automatically generated from all the stuff that we filled in in the settings and at the equipment. And then we have um, bill of quants. So you've got yeah all all the materials um, listed in a nice bill, uh, which you can use for pricing. And yeah, finally, a nice drawing set can be given to the homeowner or to an installer on the drawing set. This would have the company logo here. And then you've got a manifold schedule. It's got your spacings. So you've got 100 mil in the downstairs bathroom, 150 in the living room uh, and the kitchen. And then you've also got a rad schedule, which has got the volumes, uh, the design output, the design mean water temp, then the 50 DT equivalent output and what room it's in and the heat losses of those rooms. And you see if you zoom in, just a nice markup with uh, all the different pipe sizes. So quite easy to follow. So from survey to um, calculations, drawing set, heat, heat loss report, bill of quants, four and a half minutes, uh, not bad. Thanks for watching.